So that segues nicely into our discussion on benefits. There are a couple of different ways you can offer them. One of them is what, what we've called the black box, and the other one is what we've called the brokers. The black box, um, we would include PEOs in this, but it doesn't have to be a PEO where they, they become the employer of record. There are, um, uh, there are other firms who will sort of aggregate, you know, you pay us a certain amount and we will aggregate all of the benefits for all of your employees. By black box, we mean you don't necessarily know what they're paying. They say, here's the benefit we offer. We offer this kind of health insurance. We offer this kind of, um, we offer this kind of, uh, well, let's see what some good examples, health insurance. We'll, we'll offer this kind of like life insurance or something like that. But we, we, as the black box provider, negotiate those deals for you. We'll tell you what you get, but I might be negotiating a better deal with them and marking it up. And you won't necessarily know what my margin is. So, you know, the advantage of that is uh, that they handle it all for you. The disadvantage is you lose some of that transparency. You don't know how much of a deal you're getting. So you're actually relying on competition in the market to make sure that you're getting the best deal. Their competition with other black box providers. Another one is like a broker. Um, a broker is where you go to someone and they go, I'm going to go shop this for you and I'll give you multiple options. And there's a couple ways in which they can be compensated. One of them is um, whichever one you buy, I will be compensated by a commission from the insurer. The other way, which is one of my favorites, is you can pick whichever one you want. You, you will get those benefits for that price, and then you will pay me on top of that. The advantage of that is it gives you price transparency. You know exactly how much they're paying for the benefits because you're paying it directly, and you know exactly how much they're making off of your business. So I have one that's like, you know, for 100 bucks a month per employee, they will help you find the benefits you need. So a couple questions is one of them, how, how much... Uh, Transparency do you require? Are you a control freak who needs to know everything? Um, also, do you need more options that, than a or is a standard service enough? This might be simplicity um, at the sake of variety. And um, it's important to note that even though we talk about benefits, you can actually do payroll. Um, some of these companies both offer payroll as an integrated package, or you can separate that out for a payroll service. Um, some, uh, so that's a little bit about the benefits. Let's do a little bit more on hiring. I want to talk about hiring people in other locations. One of them you should be aware of is that you will have, um, if you hire them out of state, you will have state and local taxes. That's a lot more forms to complete. And if you hire them in other countries, let's just say it gets a lot more complicated. Um, also, in, if they're in San Francisco, uh, there, are, there is a new San Francisco, there is a San Francisco payroll tax. There's also a new uh, uh, business license tax. Um, that they, They've changed that recently. Um, this probably you guys are aware of it because you're residing in San Francisco, but I have some companies in the South Bay who like have an employee in San Francisco and then we have to go through the, well, do you meet the threshold of salaries to apply for that. Um, also important to remember that there are different regulations in addition to just taxes. Uh, one I highlight here is workers' compensation. Um, states are very aggressive about making sure people are covered by workers' comp. And if not, they will oftentimes charge extreme penalties, like $100 per employee per day that they're not covered by workers' comp. Now, oftentimes they'll like, if you sort of settle it with them, they'll negotiate that down. But just know you're starting from a position of weakness. They're very adamant about that. There's also minimum wage issues. Um, that's a, a especially important here in California, where they're very aggressive about making sure everybody gets a minimum wage. But then oftentimes company ha companies have free interns. So that can kind of be a, a legal tightrope to walk. And of course, there's also discrimination. Um, right now, there's, you know, we've historically had protections about gender and uh, religious um, and, and race discrimination. The uh, sexual orientation varies quite, is, is still inconsistent across the country, though. Um, and the last one to remember is the greater variety of locations increases the, uh, um, the value of using a third party, because oftentimes a PEO will know which state has which workers' comp policy. So if you're going to spread out, you, it sort of makes you more likely to want to use some sort of service. 